Welcome to Bankers Rankers. In today's video, we are going to discuss a very important topic according to the exam point of view, Silosism. In this video, we are going to explain how to solve the problems with following cases. Possibility, some not, definitely some not, part, if, also, neither nor and either or. In this video, we will explain these concepts with help of few questions. This is first part of a very long series. In each part, we will discuss 10 questions based on different different cases and we'll try to explain the concepts of different cases and how to attempt the problems. If you want to download the PDF which consists of all the questions which we are discussing here, then you can join our WhatsApp group. The link of the WhatsApp group is given in the description box. In these questions, a set of statements are given to you. You have to consider those statements correct even if they are incorrect according to facts. Now, based on the given statement, you have to explain that which of the given conclusion is true. If only conclusion 1 is true, your solution will be option A. If conclusion 2 is true, your solution will be option B. If either conclusion 1 or conclusion 2 is true, your option will be option C. If both the conclusions are false, your, your solution will be option D. If both the conclusions are true, your solution will be option E. First five questions we are asked in IBPS PO preliminary 2016. The first question is following are the statements all circles are triangle some triangles is rectangle and all rectangles are square the diagram corresponding to these statements will be as follow what you have to do is you have to make a simple diagram as simple diagram as possible first statement says all circles are triangle it means complete circle will be lying inside a triangle then some triangle is a rectangle a portion of triangle and a portion of rectangle will be overlapping on each other as given in the figure. All rectangles are squares. Complete rectangle will be lying inside the square. Now, let us conclude some important point from this figure. In the second statement, it is given some triangle is rectangle. So the diagram which I have drawn, there is only a small portion of overlapping between T and R. Next is all rectangles are squares. In many videos and textbook, it is given that you should draw minimum touching diagram. According to me, you should not draw such diagrams. See completely R and S. Complete R will be inside S. So their boundary are not touching. You should draw the diagram so that the boundary of R and S can be easily distinguished. Now based on these statements, two conclusions are given. The first conclusion is all rectangles being triangle is a possibility. It is a possibility case. The first question which comes to our mind is how to solve a possibility case. What do you understand by possibility? In order to understand this, just try to understand a question. What is the possibility that 11th batsman in a cricket team can score a 100? See, we know that there is very, very, very less possibility that the 11th person can score a 100. But is there a possibility? Yes, you cannot completely neglect the fact that he cannot score a 100. So what does possibility says? Possibility says that even if there is slightest chance that the given condition is true, then you have to assume that it is true. So whenever dealing with the possibility conclusion, what you have to do, you have to draw a diagram considering only that conclusion, make that conclusion true. Then you have to make sure that are any of your statements contradicting the diagram? If not, then this possibility is true. Otherwise, this possibility is wrong. Now, let us try to understand this question. All rectangles being triangle is a possibility. So first of what I will do, I will draw complete rectangle into triangle. I have drawn that. Then I will go to my statement and draw them one by one. First is all circles are a triangle. I will draw complete circle into triangle. Second, some triangle is a rectangle. It is automatically satisfied. Third, all rectangles are a square. I will draw a circle circumferring the R. So can we say that any of the statement is contradicting this diagram? No. Therefore, this possibility is correct. Now, second is again a possibility condition. It is all circles being a square is a possibility. So we will draw a circle and we will draw a square circumferring the circle. Now we will again go to the statement one by one and try to verify them. First statement is all circles are triangles. We will draw a triangle circumferring the circle. Then some triangle is rectangle. A portion of triangle and rectangle will be overlapping and all rectangles are square. It is automatically assumed. So is it correct? Yes, it is also correct. So what we can say that both the conclusion one and conclusion two are correct. So our option will be option number E. 
नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन द स्टेटमेंट्स आर सम चेयर इज स्टेबल सो देर विल बी स्मॉल ओवरलैप बिटवीन सी एंड टी सम बेड इज स्टेबल एंड देन नो फर्नीचर इज बेड लुक एट द डायग्राम नो बेड इज फर्नीचर सो द सर्कल रिप्रेजेंटिंग बी एंड एफ शुड बी सेपरेट फ्रॉम इच अदर एंड आई हैव गिवन अ डैश मार्क कनेक्टिंग बी एंड एफ दिस सेज दैट बी एंड एफ आर नॉट को रिलेटेड दिस इज अ इम्पॉर्टेंट वे टू रिप्रेजेंट नो स्टेटमेंट बिटवीन टू डिफरेंट सब्जेक्ट कंक्लूजन नंबर वन ऑल चेयर बिंग फर्नीचर इज अ पॉसिबिलिटी लेट एस ट्राई टू ड्रॉ लेट एस मेक अ सर्कल एंड मेक अ फर्नीचर अब इट देन वी विल गो बैक टू द स्टेटमेंट सम चेयर इज टेबल वी कैन मेक इट यस सम बेड इज टेबल वी कैन मेक इट यस एंड नो फर्नीचर इज बेड कैन वी मेक इट यस सो अ डायग्राम इज पॉसिबल सो दिस पॉसिबिलिटी इज करेक्ट सेकेंड कंक्लूजन सम टेबल इज नॉट बेड इज अ पॉसिबिलिटी in our first diagram itself we can say that some portion of table is not bed so we can see that one diagram is there which is satisfying conclusion number 2 so this possibility is also correct next question all circles are triangle complete circle will be inside the triangle circle some triangle is rectangle a small bit overlap between triangle and rectangle all rectangles are square complete rectangle will be inside a square again rectangle and square circles are separate they are not circumscribing on each other conclusions some triangles are not rectangle it is a straight forward equation means in all the cases there should be some triangle which are not rectangle what if i make this diagram where all triangles are rectangle if i make this diagram then is it violating any of my statement statement 1 all circle are a triangle is it violating no some triangle is rectangle is it violating no some triangle is rectangle look here all triangle is rectangle is correct but isn't some triangle is rectangle also correct yes it is also correct third statement all rectangles are square it is also correct so conclusion 1 will be incorrect because there is a diagram which does not satisfy the given condition that some triangles are not rectangle next conclusion no square is a circle from this diagram we can say that some part of a square will be circle so yes it is also incorrect now if no statement is given then there is no need to make a new diagram this statement no square is a circle will be correct if and only if there was a negation sign the dash the connecting line between s and c or between s and t because complete c will be inside t then only this conclusion would be true otherwise not next question is all arts are theater complete r will be inside t some arts are drama little bit overlap of a and d conclusion all drama being there is a possibility it is a possibility case so let us make the case all drama being theater make complete d inside t now let us go to statement all art are theater can i make a inside t yes i can some art are drama can i make some overlap between a and d yes i can so the yes this possibility is correct some dramas are theater in the given question it is given that some art are drama and all art will be inside theater so whatever diagram we make the small portion of overlap between art and drama will always be inside theater therefore some drama will be theater this is also correct if sum is asked then that condition should be correct in all possible diagrams next statement some chair is stable some bed is stable no bed is furniture conclusion some table is not furniture as we can see that this overlap region between t and b cannot be furniture because it is given that no bed can be furniture so yes this conclusion will be true there cannot be any diagram in which all the t will be inside f because some of t will be inside b and that t cannot go inside f next is all table being furniture is a possibility no it is incorrect because we cannot make a diagram in which all t can go inside f some t the shaded portion will always be inside b which will never go inside f question number 6 to question number 6 to 11 were asked in ubi pure 2016 the statement was all roses are flowers some trees are roses and some flowers are seeds we can make a simple diagram like this conclusion number 1 
all trees being seeds is a possibility again it is a possibility case so first we will make all trees inside seeds now we will go to our statement statement one all roses are flower can i make all roses inside flower yes i can make some trees are roses are some trees roses yes some flowers are seeds some flowers are seeds is is this a statement true yes it is true so what we can say that corresponding to this conclusion one possible diagram exists and this is the diagram so we can say yes this conclusion is possible it is true conclusion two some roses are definitely not seeds here it is saying that they are definitely not seeds means in all the diagram there should not be any overlap between some of the roses and some of the seeds now as we can see in this diagram that complete roses are inside the seeds and is it violating any of the statement all roses are flower no it is not violating it some trees are roses it is not violating it some flowers are seeds it is also not violating it so we have made a diagram which is not violating any statement and shows that all roses are seeds so our conclusion number two is false next question the statements of air same conclusion number one some flowers which are trees are also a part of seeds now in this conclusion it is given that some flowers which are trees means we have to see only those flowers which are trees this reason and then they are asking that they are also a part of seed now we can see that in our first diagram they are not a part of seed so in some cases it might be true that they become part of seed but since it is not a case of possibility so we cannot say that it is correct so this conclusion is incorrect all seeds if they are trees then they must be part of roses it is given that all seeds are tree in order to solve this conclusion we have to consider the first part as true that is we have to make a new diagram in which all seeds will be tree like this then we will then we will complete the diagram with help of our statements and then see whether the condition is correct or not the condition is all seeds if they are trees then they must be part of roses are they part of roses no we have made a diagram in which they are not part of roses so the conclusion is false so overall what we can conclude is that if in conclusion if it is a possibility case then we have to try to make a diagram such that the conclusion becomes true and if it is not a possibility case then we have to try to make a diagram such that the given conclusion becomes false next question some blues are greens some reds are blues all greens are whites conclusion one some reds are neither blues nor whites is a possibility is there any one diagram in which this can happen yes our first diagram itself so it is a correct conclusion all greens are red is a possibility so if you make a diagram like making all greens inside red and then completing the diagram through our statement some blues are greens some reds are blues and all greens are whites is it violating any of the statement no so we can say that the conclusion true is also correct there is a possibility that all green can be red next question the statements are same conclusion one some whites are not red now what we will try we will try to make a diagram which contradicts this conclusion so in conclusion it is given given that some whites are not red so we will make complete white into red now we will go to our statement some blues are green can we make it yes some reds are blues can we make it yes some greens are whites can we make it yes so none of the statements is void and we have made a diagram which contradicts the conclusion so conclusion one is wrong conclusion two some reds which are blue is also part of white but as we can see from our first diagram is that some portion of red which are blue is not part of white so no need to make a new diagram we can directly conclude that this conclusion is false next question statements all rocks are mountains no stone is mountain all stones are cements now look at this diagram it is given no stone is mountain so we have given the dash sign between s and m and all stones are cement so stone will be inside the cement circle okay that is the importance of the dash sign dash sign tells negation is given between m and s not between m and c so when you make the circles don't try to overlap them otherwise you cannot decide negation sign is given between exactly which two subjects conclusion 
some mountains which are rocks is also part of cement as we can say that some portion of mountain is rock but they are not part of cement so this conclusion is false no cement is rock so what we will try to do we will try to make a diagram which contradicts this conclusion so we will make some cement into rock and then go to our statement all rocks are mountain can we make it yes no stone is mountain can we make it yes all stones are cements can we make it yes so none of the statements are contradicted but the conclusion can be contradicted so this conclusion is wrong question number 11 the statements are same the conclusions are some stones are mountains as we can see in our basic diagram negation is given between s and m so it is given in the diagram that no stone can be mountain so some stone cannot be mountain so the conclusion is incorrect no rocks are mountain as we can see that rocks are inside the mountain all rocks are mountain so no rock are mountain is a incorrect statement thank you for watching this video if you like this video then like comment and subscribe to our youtube channel bankers rankers if you want to download these questions in a pdf format then you can join our whatsapp group the link of the whatsapp group is given in the description box